Hi, Yarnabees. I got my camera flipped around, so I'm trying. I keep thinking I have to look over there, but I don't. I have to look over here. <laughs> so I'm at work. I got Bailey. Bailey's at the shop with me. Hang on. Let's see if I can bring it down a little bit. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a week. I, um, yeah, I had a bit of a tough time at week. Oh, hang on. It's down. Oh, okay, there you go. Ah, that's better. <clears throat> so, I was at uh, work the other day. See my bee? I got my bee. Um, I was at work the other day, and one of our um, store owners was having a bit of a rough day, and we had to close her shop for her. <clears throat> And she's, she's in a wheelchair and I took her around the corner and she started having um, multiple seizures <sighs> um, yeah it was like one seizure after another after another and I ended up um, oh hang on <laughs> sorry about that um, Dave came to walk the dog so <clears throat> anyway um, so yeah, she was having multiple seizures. We called 911, we called her husband, and um, got her sent off to the hospital. I haven't been right since. Um, I was basically the first responder, and um, yeah, it kind of messed me up because it reminded me a lot <coughs> of when my sister was sick. And uh, it brought back a lot of memories, and, and I guess it was a trigger. So, yeah, I didn't like that much. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> but um, my shop is all decorated for Halloween. And we're doing the, all, like everybody's um, participating in a haunted house that they're going to be doing here. And, yeah. So, um, my sister came over last weekend and we made apple pies. I took uh, an extra day off work and we made some apple pies. So, yeah, I was up to my eyeballs in apple pies <laughs> and apples. I still have a ton of apples at home. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, yeah, I kind of overshot, kind of, you know. I didn't realize how many apples it would take. I thought it was going to take a lot of apples to make an apple pie. I didn't quite get that right. <laughs> I could have done with just 30 pounds, not 60. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> and then I made turkey dinner early. I made it last weekend instead of this weekend. So I, um, I made, I made the turkey and then I put the bones in my Instapot and, um, thank you, Patricia, <laughs> Pat not Petra, Petra, not Patricia, Patricia's my boss. Anyway, <laughs> Petra, <laughs> um, you know why, uh, so anyway, <clears throat> Uh, I put the bones in there and it made a fantastic broth um, and then I transferred the broth and put it in the fridge and then I took the bones and I put it back in the Instapot for six hours um, checked on it and the bones were um, all squishy so they're safe to give to your animals so that's what I did and it produced another pot of broth so I've got a whole bunch of broth and I'm going to be making soup out of that <clears throat> um, and then last night I made shepherd's pie I'm just on a roll <laughs> I don't know why I've all of a sudden got the the cooking bug or whatever but yeah like I have time I don't know because I'm taking, I'm starting to take Sundays and Mondays off now at work. 
and doing skip the dishes. So, yeah, but I missed doing it last weekend because I was making pies and I was visiting with my sister. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm in the pro I'm making scrubbies. Um, I'm making it out of, uh, whoop, where is it? Oh, I don't have the ball band on it. Ouch. Mm. The scrubology. Those of you that know me this, know that this is my absolute favorite. Um, I'm running out of it fast, though. <laughs> so I got an order to make four scrubbies. So I've got three done. I'm working on the next one. Um, what else? I got an order to make a scarf with a keyhole in it. So, <coughs> oops. Um, woo -hoo -hoo. She likes army greens and stuff. So I started doing this. And then I started the keyhole here. And then I'm going to put pom- oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. And then I'm going to put pom-poms on the end of it. And I'm using, <coughs> I'm using, um, is it Red Heart? I think that one's Red Heart Super Saver. It's either, no, Red Heart Comfort, maybe? It's the same, same yarn I was using for the mushroom hat that I still haven't got finished. And then I'm using Heartland. Oop. And this color is Joshua Tree. So I'm mixing the two, mixing the two together to make that. So I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. And then I've got a few other things on the go that I just can't seem to get my crap together and finish. Oh, so. This the sweater poncho-y thing. I put that on the wayside. All I got to do is the, the, the neck and then do up the sides. That's all I got left to do. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself really, honestly. I <laughs> um, and then I started um, another sweater, which I think I showed you guys. I ended up having to frog back about four inches of it because the one side started curving in. And I'm like, eh, really? Uh, and then... <clears throat> and then... Um, I'm sure that you are... Well, most of you know of Miguel. He makes the little wee-wees. Uh, he's huge on Instagram. Um, I bought, finally bought his base pattern. I didn't realize when I bought one of his patterns that it doesn't include the actual Wii pattern. <coughs> it just um, includes all the accessories that the Wii has on it. So if it's like a vampire Wii, it, ha it shows you how to make the vampire parts, not the actual Wii. So I had to buy the Wii pattern. Uh, and and then I had the other pattern, so it was a zombie Wii or something. <clears throat> but I decided, like when I started making it, it's turning out way bigger than his does. And I'm using a four millimeter hook with four weight yarn. <clears throat> so you would think that it would come out smaller. It didn't. I still have to do the ball part. If you get offended, if you get offended, I'm totally sorry, but you know, it is what it is. So <clears throat> I still have to do the ball parts, but, um, so I'm going to make this a margarita wee. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, attempt to put a straw somewhere in here and put a strawberry and uh, like, some strawberries or something around it to make it a strawberry margarita. We, oui. <laughs> I don't know. I was bored. Okay. <clears throat> I 
which I don't understand because I've got too many things on the go. I don't know how I'm possibly bored. <sighs> so. Um, what else? I'm sure I've got other things to talk to you about. So I'll come back on when I remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys, I walked into Michael's to see if I could find some yarn for something I wanted to work on, and they have a buy two get one free. Blossom cakes are back, but wow, look at that price! That's insane. <sighs> so the blossom cakes are here. We've got some anniversary cakes for forty-four dollars. My God! And then we got the chunky cakes for fourteen. Latte cakes are at oop fourteen ninety-nine. Good God, you guys! Like that just makes me ill. Like what is wrong with Michael? And then we've got. This is the big um, Bernat blanket, big. Oh my god. And then we've got the felted. It's so expensive, it doesn't even have a price on it. <laughs> so. Okay, so it breaks my heart that I had to pay full price for, um, for this yarn. But, I mean, I could have got it. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to get in the car. And I'm losing balls of yarn here. Ugh. I'm sitting on balls of yarn. <laughs> Which normally might be fun. But, <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, it breaks my heart. Because I, I know I can get it at wholesale. But, it's one of those convenience things, you know. It's here, and I don't have to wait for it to come in the mail, and I can get started on my project. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be working on a tunic, I think it's called. And I got a couple of colors. It's made out of chenille, and I've never made any... i got to open the windows. Hang on, guys. Whew. Holy cow. Ugh. Hot. Um, I've never made a wearable out of chenille. So I thought I'd try it. So I got the chenille home slim. And isn't that pretty? This color is... <laughs> Boy, a boysenberry. That's boysenberry-ish. This color I've gotten before, and I think I made a turtle out of it or something, and I just, I wanted something made with, like, this color, because, of course, you know, this is my favorite color, um, so this is the Loops and Threads, uh, Chenille Home as well, and the color is... Okay, doesn't say the color. Why is it? That's weird. Hmm, it says color number CHSO4. That's bizarre because this is the old Loops and Threads label and it has the color right on there. This is the new Loops and Threads label. And there is no color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, it's that really nice red. Uh, burgundy kind of, not burgundy. Deep red. So, I want to try it. I don't know how many yards I need. I ju I'm just doing this on a whim. So, uh... I've got that deep green at home that I make my pickles out of. One of those tunics would be gorgeous. 
in that as well. So I, uh, yeah, I'll see, figure out that later. Um, I'm on my second shift. I did my first ship, ship, <laughs> shift on Skip the Dishes today. It's Thanksgiving Day weekend for us, so it's fairly busy. And, um, yeah. So now I start my second shift. And then tomorrow I'm, is Monday. Tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. And I'll be working. Doing a double shift then, too. Also, I can pay my rent at my shop. Something's not right here. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Um, oh, hey. Do you guys know... Kimmy from Kim's Crochet and Knits is home. She's at home, guys, after her lung surgery. Um, I'm sure that she is just ecstatic that she's home. And uh, and she's going to heal so much better being at home. I know it. Um, so, mwah, love you, Kimmy. You better be relaxing, I tell you, girl. So, anyways. Um, oh, and Angela excuse me, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. She has a new tutorial out. Is it out yet? Maybe it's not out yet. It's coming out. Um, her link is always down below. Uh, she is doing the Precious Friends sweater. And one of the sweaters that she did is the yarn that I sent her, for the Worsted 8 um, heathered yarn. And it's gorgeous. It's I love it. I love it. I love the way it turned out. So I can't wait for her tutorial to come out so I can do that tutorial. Because the last, um, not the last tutorial, the one tutorial that she did for the hooded sweater, <coughs> I've got one of those in my shop and everybody is just gaga over this sweater. And so, um, yeah. So I gotta make another one of those. So, excuse me. Mm. Oh. Oh. So Angela, hurry up and get your tutorial out so I can make your sweater, please. <laughs> Not that I have enough time to do all this, but I'm going to try and get this done because I need to get stuff for my shop. Um, uh, Jeanette from Miss Hootie's Crafts, she said that she's gonna be sending her first box this week I believe um, so I'm really excited about that to get her stuff in the shop um, she's working on some really cute stuff so that's gonna be a hoot I <laughs> get it a hoot <laughs> that wasn't even planned um, but anyways okay I will talk to you guys in a while bye hi you the bees <sighs> So I'm at work, obviously, and I'm wondering if anybody else is feeling the way I am. I, I don't know if it's a seasonal thing or if it's just stress or if it's like, I don't know what's going on, but my depression is kicking me hard, hard. Yesterday I woke up and I went to the bathroom and then I went and made a coffee and I came in the living room and I went to put my coffee down on the table and I missed. Coffee went all over the couch, under the couch, on the t on the floor, on my yarn and I just snapped. And I cried and I was throwing things and I was just having a complete meltdown and I thought what is happening to me <clears throat> so yeah weird um, feel better today because I had a good cry but yeah it was the weirdest thing it was just like whoa George didn't know what to do George was the brunt of a lot of it um, yeah, it was, it, I don't know what's going on. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, <clears throat> I, uh, once I got that, I, I actually started cleaning the house. And, because I, I've been working 
six, seven days a week, right? And I just haven't had time to clean the house and the, the house was starting to get like completely in shambles and I get really depressed about that. And, you know, like I just feel like I don't have control over anything. So I cleaned up a lot of, like I cleaned up the living room and, and whatnot and um, it made me feel a bit better anyway. I made homemade turkey soup, which was really good. And um, and then I just relaxed and I started making stuff, like actually sitting down and crocheting, which is something I haven't been able to do in a while either, which I think is another reason why I'm feeling kind of bleh. <clears throat> but um, so I started, I'm, I'm starting to make a tunic. Hang on, let me see. I, I'm holding on to this thing right now. Maybe this will stop it from going rolling there. And I got the dropsies. Like I'm just dropping everything. I like it. Ah. So anyway. Oh, that's what I forgot to bring. I printed out a whole bunch of patterns for the shop. Like free patterns and stuff. And I forgot to bring them. Anyway. So while I was looking for knit patterns, because everybody's wanting a knit pattern, um, I came across a pattern for a tunic. And I started to crochet it, and I didn't like the way that it was set up. Like, um, it just, it was weird. So I decided to make my own. And I'm thinking about, once I get it done and I, it actually works, then I'm thinking about making another one and doing a tutorial on it. So, <clears throat> but it's used, um, they've used Chenille Home Slim. Um, I've never made a wearable with Chenille. I, I've heard that uh, wearables with Chenille will worm um, when you wash them and stuff, so I've never wanted to go through that. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it anyway. And um, Michaels was having a two for one, a two buy two get one free, and it just broke my heart. I think it, I made a clip, so here I'll show you that clip. <clears throat> so. It really broke my heart to have to pay $14.99 for this. So, but I wanted to try it, try this tunic to see if it's going to be worth bringing in more um, of this and making more of them. So, yeah, so this color is, what is this color? Boysenberry. And I'm... Oh, I've got, okay, I'll just show you this, the sleeve for now. So this is what it looks like. It's, um, that's what the sleeve's going to be like. So I think it's going to be really nice. Um, here's the, one of the side pieces. <clears throat> so it's going to go like that. So, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I'm just starting the second side. And uh, I've got the sleeves done. So I'm hoping this is going to work out. If it works out, then I can make some for the shop. And it doesn't take all that long to make them. So, yeah. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna attempt later because it's chenille. I thought doing a bobble stitch would be better because that stitch will really show. If I did any other kind of a stitch, it would lose it in in the chenille. So I think a 3D stitch of some sort is better with this. But I just don't oops, don't want it to be too bulky. But then again, it's a bulky sweater, so whatever <laughs> so that's how much of uh, of the second piece that I've got and <clears throat> so that's what I'm working on 
Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So want to crochet with me? <laughs> okay, let's go. to tell you guys I'm using a 10 millimeter hook for this and I'm telling you my hands are sore ow I have to do stretching so hey look what I'm wearing I'm wearing I made this a couple of years ago it's uh it's like a granny granny style sweater um i've been getting a lot of compliments about it so i might make some of these for the shop as well although the last time i started doing a granny uh, um wearable not too long ago it ended up in the pile of stuff <laughs> so maybe i won't <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, show you guys what the tunic looks like when I'm done. Good morning, Yarnabees. In my usual perch. <laughs> Either at the shop or here. <laughs> um, I wanted to close out this video and talk to you about something that I go through every year. And it's scary and I totally forget that I go through it at you know in October but I wanted to talk about it just in case there's somebody else out there that goes through this um <clears throat> last weekend was a pretty rough weekend for me and I like I said I do this every year but I forget that I go through it Right, and it's always a surprise when it happens. Um, <clears throat> I go through a very destructive episode. It can last a day, it could last three days, it could last a week. And <clears throat> um, all of my OGs out there that have been with me forever know that, um, well, and for my new people, thank you for being here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to explain this a little bit. Um, I'm an empath and I'm an energy worker. And I, when my husband passed away in 2009, um, he was my, <sighs> he was my everything. Him and I, we, our energy worked so well together. Um, and when we were together, it was a very explosive energy kind of, uh, relationship. <clears throat> our empathic side really was strong, right? Um, that died with him when, when I lost him, I, I, I turned away from my empathic side and I turned away from my faith. I turned away from everything. I just shut it all down. And so, um, in the last year or two, it's been creeping up again and, when an empath opens that door again, it can be very intense and very strong. And it, sometimes you can't deal with it. You can't handle it. So, um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's something I've been dealing with for a little while. But anyways, 
So last weekend, um, I just went cuckoo Lulu, absolutely cuckoo Lulu. And I get, I get very angry. I get very emotional. I get depressed. I get suicidal. I get, I want to end my marriage. I want to close my shop. I was like, I was all over the place. Um, I've been dropping things like crazy. Like I said, in, in one, I think I told you guys that I dropped my coffee, um, first thing in the morning and I completely lost it. Um, that day was a very bad day <clears throat> and it didn't occur to me until today, this morning, that it's October. For those of you that don't believe, that's okay. Um, you don't have to. Um, but in October, the veil between the worlds, the spirit world and our world start to part. It's the thinnest on October 31st. And being an empath, um, you really feel the effects of it. Um, I can, I can feel spirit. I can feel, um, I can feel the energy of, um, of the veil parting and I can feel different spirits come through. And so it messes me up in a big way and I don't know how to deal with it. All of a sudden I've got all of these emotions coming at me and I just, I completely snap. Um, and that's what happened to me last weekend. And so, yeah, I, I basically I told George I wanted a divorce. I couldn't take it anymore. I, I was like, I was telling everybody at the shop, I'm closing my shop. That's it. January done. Um, I was, yeah, I, I was, saying I didn't want to be here anymore. Um, I was just, I was crying. I was angry. I was, oh, it was, it was not a good time. Not a good time. So I was looking at, I said to George, I says, it's October. And he was like, oh, right. And Sometimes when this happens, the damage is done and I can't pull it back. So <clears throat> it's a, uh, it's a really tough time for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, George and I are okay now, I think. We're still hitting rough patches, but, um, as for the shop, I kind of did, I kind of decided that I was going to close up in January. Uh, but something came up yesterday, which might be an opportunity. Um, it's going to be a rough go. Uh, I may have another location down the block that I can go to now. In my contract at the shop, it says I have to pay three months rent if I decide to terminate my lease. That's over $3,000. So, yeah, I'm going to talk to the owner of the other place and find out what her plans are. I just had, had this drop on my lap yesterday. So, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But what I do know is that what's happening at the shop is not working for me. Um, it And I feel it's the place, the place I'm in. The owner or the leasee of the building is, I've always said, there's something not right about that place. Um, and so, yeah, that's what it is. So I might be moving the shop next year. Um, so anyway, for all of you empaths out there, and I know you're out there because I've stopped, I've talked to you. Um, 
if you're going through this, I totally understand. And if you're having a really hard time right now, please reach out to me uh, and let's talk because it's, it's a very lonely place for someone like me when you're going through this and nobody else understands um, and you don't understand and it's it's a very scary place to be so yeah happy October <laughs> Samhain is among us and I'm trying to hold on by my fingertips <laughs> so yeah but I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Things happen for a reason. And uh, I wish that part of me doesn't happen. But it does happen. And I have to learn how to deal with it every year. <laughs> but it's like I have a complete blank. You know, it's like every October I go through this. And then it's like a surprise. I'm like, why is this happening to me? I don't understand. And then all of a sudden it hits me. You know, it's like, oh, oh, it's October. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, as chaos is ensuing, um, there's George, who's the cleanup crew, <laughs> comes along after the tornado and tries to make everything all better. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, guys. That's it for me for right now. Um, oh, I finished the sweater. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in my next video. Because uh, it's at the shop. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Okay? I love you all. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.